to this Moodle easy JavaScript simulation that is LTI provider. So next thing you need to do is you click on the login. After you click on the login, it will appear something like this, of which then you can say that this is your first time creating an account. After you click on this, create a new account, it will bring you to this page where you can key in your details and then click on create account. Then it will send this email to your address, of which then you might want to click on continue. And then you go to your email, you should see a new email, of which then you may want to click on this to create an account. So once this account has been created, your registration is confirmed, click on continue. And there you have it, you are inside the EGSS uh, master list, of which then you need to enroll into this course. Once you enroll into this course, then you may want to enroll yourself as a non-editing teacher. To be editing teacher means you will be given the rights to change the material which is currently not allowed unless you personally email me and then you want to contribute to creating new simulations and new LTI uh, data analytics simulation to serve SLS then you can contact me then I can create an editing teacher. So for the time being just enroll as a non-editing teacher. Once you enroll as a non-editing teacher, then you can skip through all the tutorials or you can go a next. Then you can end the tour if you are comfortable with the interface. Editing teacher, you can scroll through the simulation that you want to see and you will be able to see the accompanying learning analytics by previous students. So you can see that for yourself, you have not done anything here. Now let's try to do something as a student. So uh, because I've configured Moodle to allow switching of roles between the non-editing non teachers to the student. So you click as a student, now you can actually interact with the simulation. So based on the interface of the simulation, you need to click somewhere first. Then you can check whether you understood the chemistry concept here. So if there's two, there's four, okay, so this must be two. Okay, let me click, okay, then I'm called right. Then after that, I'm going to click correct again. Then eventually, this is two, this is one. So I have to make this two. Once this is two, this has to be three. Okay. So let's say I do until question three. Okay. Then I'm interested to know. I mean, I can keep on going, but that's not the point. The point is now I switch back to the normal role, which is the non editing teacher. I should be able to see the analytics of myself. So uh, these are my analytics. So this is. Um, something that is very cool because it allows you to switch between rows and see the interaction.